I'm Matthew with Peoria Adventist, and we are in our series on the Ten Commandments. Now, we talked about kids in the last video, and that naturally leads us to talk about murder. Now, the Sixth Commandment tells us not to kill, or is it murder? Which one is it? I mean, older translations tell us not to kill, and newer ones say murder. And there's a big difference between killing and murder. And so the conversation that Christians have been having for the past 2,000 years has been over who we are allowed to kill. So good stuff. Today, scholars lean toward murder as the best way to translate the Hebrew word ratzak here in Exodus chapter 20. But that just raises other questions. I mean, is war murder? Is capital punishment murder? Is self-defense murder? Is eating at McDonald's a form of murder? <gasps> The key to understanding the power of life and death in our hands is, is this verse, for in God's image, God has made humankind. The basic principle here is if we did not create life, we do not have the right to take life. That concept of creation loyalty is just incredibly powerful. It's why we owe worship to God. It's why we owe honor to our parents. So murder is what happens when we take the life of a person created in the image of their creator without the creator's permission. It's that idea that we belong to somebody else, to God, that gets us to stop and think about this question in a new way. Is it too bold to say that we should never take a life, any life, without recognizing who that life belongs to? I mean, to take a life is this dark, and holy thing. It, it, it's sacred. It's not something we should do lightly or just because the laws that we pass demand it. Now, I understand the need to figure out the boundaries of a law like this commandment, but maybe our conversation about the sixth commandment could also include ways to preserve and protect life because that's kind of the flip side of this coin. And since Jesus said that we can commit murder even when we hate somebody, I feel like half the people on the internet are going to hell. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, really. We should be careful of the things we write about people on the internet and the things we say about people in person. There's, a, there's an inherent dignity in people because of this image of God. And when we don't recognize that dignity, the boundary between murder and killing becomes murkier. I remember after 9-11, this song came out here in America. The chorus soared with talk of lighting up their world with bombs and putting a bullet in them because it's the American way. And at the time, I really felt that song because it felt empowering in what was otherwise a very vulnerable moment for us as a nation. Yes, I understand and I accept there are times when life must be taken, but it is not something we should celebrate or gloat over. Life is so valuable to God that in Genesis, he declares that even when an animal kills a human being, that animal will be judged. Life is so valuable that people were commanded not to eat the lifeblood of an animal. God is saying that even animal life is sacred. It's not all for you. You can eat the animal's body, but its life still belongs to God. And, and forbidding people to eat that blood was a way for God to get human beings to respect the limits of our own dominion, the limits of our own power, to respect the mystery of life, to respect the Creator. Now, with that in mind, we can better understand the laws that we have. God says, whoever sheds human blood by other humans must his blood be shed, for in God's image, God has made humankind. A life is worth a life. And then God says, do not accept ransom for the life of a murderer. In other words, the murderer cannot show up and say, ah, you know, things happen, and then just give you a million dollars in order to spare his life. Because a million dollars or any amount of dollars is not equal to the life he took. The only value of life is life. Yes, there are people who can be executed or killed. The Bible permits this, and it doesn't break the commandment. But we should also remember that life itself is a gift. Life is sacred. Life is holy. Even as Jesus was being murdered, he prayed for his murderers. Father, forgive them. These, these Roman soldiers, right, who are so desensitized to death and violence. Jesus says they don't fully understand what they're doing. 
there's this scene in The Lord of the Rings where Frodo and Sam are trying to understand why no one kills this treacherous creature named Gollum. After all, he deserves it, Frodo says. But then Frodo remembered the words of wise old Gandalf, who said, Deserves death? I dare say he does. Many that live deserve death, and some die that deserve life. Can you give that to them? Then be not too eager to deal out death in the name of justice, fearing for your own safety. Even the wise cannot see all ends. Taking the life of a murderer cannot restore the innocent lives that were taken. But that's part of the Christian hope, that someday God will fix this mess. Our justice is messy, and we do the best we can, remembering that the best is yet to come. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hit up here to subscribe, and you can watch another video down here. We have some awesome things coming out for you, so hit subscribe and stay tuned.